Intimacy in the Garden of Eden by Leroy Harris III Adam and Eve ate the fruit from the tree, even though God told them not to, because they would know the difference between good and evil. They were basically so close to God that they didn't need to know right from wrong. They were led by his spirit. They had a close connection with God and each other, a perfect connection. This connection is what I call intimacy, and it was lost when they ate the fruit from the tree. They recognized that they were naked and hid from God, which was the first sign of lost intimacy. I'm sure there would have been more to come in the garden if they would have stayed longer and not gotten kicked out. So how does this relate to us and our intimacy in life with God? Is nakedness the only thing we should overcome to get closer to God? In my opinion, the problems we have in not having that perfect connection is that we have lost the ability to be naked in front of God and each other with our lives. We hide from each other our vulnerabilities so that we don't get hurt or embarrassed. If we were truly connected, then we would trust that God is bigger than our problems, knowing we are not perfect, and we wouldn't mind if people knew our imperfections, because God can and will fix those problems in our life if we let him and when he is ready. We would count it all joy and rest in the Lord. So how do we fix our connection or intimacy problem? You can do this by getting close to God as Adam and Eve were before the fall in the Garden of Eden. To do this, you need to read about God, pray to God, and fellowship with equally yoked people. Basically, you need to diligently seek God or chase after God with all your heart as if your afterlife depends on it. When you give your life over to God, he will give you the grace to be intimate with him and the people around you. So you see, relationship with God and having his grace in your life is the key to getting the intimacy God wants you to have in your life with him and other people. So, become the person God called you to be and let him cover your head with his grace and guide your steps. In all things, pray and press toward the mark. It is better to give than to receive. In Jesus' name, amen.